Welcome to Horizon Kids Home Edition. Our children's space online where we help your parents teach you the truth of the Christian space found in the Bible. I am Wesley. And I'm Wesley's father, Christopher James. Do you know that in ancient Rome, one out of every two people was a slave? The only way to become a free person was if the slave or somebody else purchased their freedom. In this episode, Sale explains how our Heavenly Father purchased lost sinners through the death of His Son, Jesus Christ. In this lesson, you will learn that redemption is an ancient word from the marketplace that means to purchase something. The Bible teaches us that everyone is a slave to sin. We're all sinners by nature, sold into the bondage of sin. But Jesus purchased, or redeemed, us from this bondage when He died on the cross. The Bible says that anyone who believes in Jesus Christ will be set free from the bondage of sin. Want to learn more? Let's watch this! I will sing of my Redeemer and His wondrous love to me. <sighs> On the cruel cross He suffered Lovely day for fly fishing, eh? Sing, oh, sing, oh, my Redeemer, with his blood. Hello, hello. What have we here? <gasps> it's apple pie! <laughs> Lovely, you said it, just like me mum used to pinch for me. Uh, best to keep watch for Theo. If you see anything, whistle. Uh, you can whistle, can't you? Nah, he'll have a big fat trout for supper, won't he? Better for his cholesterol. Off the racket, Belfry. Do you want Theo to hear you, Belfry? Oh, and where'd you run off to? <laughs> oh no! Scratches Nick Belfry. I gotta help him. On the other hand, there's the last bit of pie for me. Heads, I save him. Tails, he's Kitty Chow. Oh no, I gotta help me little mate. Go back and tell your uncle I'm looking for him. Sing, oh, sing, oh, my Redeemer, with his blood he purchased me. Today's lesson is about redemption. Have you ever thought about what it means to redeem something? Some people think it means to redeem something from a pawn shop. Others think it means to redeem a winning lottery ticket.
Maybe you'll think of redemption as redeeming all those lovely tickets you've earned for a special prize. Redemption is really an ancient word that comes from the marketplace. It means to purchase something. Oh, look what we have here. Yes. Let's take a look at how redemption was used in biblical times. In the days of ancient Rome, at least one out of every two people was a slave. Slaves worked in the homes of their masters. They worked in the fields beside them, or in their master's trade. They bought and sold goods in the marketplace, even conducted business on behalf of their master. A person could be sold into slavery for many reasons. For instance, conquered enemy soldiers were sold to help recoup the cost of war. Or if a person owed a sum of money that he could not repay, he might work off his debt as a slave. Oftentimes, whole families were sold into slavery to pay off debts. It is horrible for us to think of slavery today, but back in Roman times, buying and selling slaves was a part of everyday life. Because of it, people truly understood what it meant to redeem someone. The Apostle Paul was a Roman citizen so he was well aware of the slavery situation that existed in the world. He saw firsthand the effects of bondage on men, women, and yes, even children. There were kind masters, but sadly there were also masters that were cruel. There were many ways of becoming a slave, but there was only one way to gain one's freedom. Someone had to either purchase you, or pay off your debt. They had to redeem you with a price. What a joy it would have been to be a slave suddenly set free! When Paul wrote a letter to the church at Rome, he used his knowledge of Roman culture to write that we are all slaves to sin. We are all sinners by nature, sold into the bondage of sin without hope of spiritual freedom. But Paul also knew that because of God's great love for the world, he sent his only son to pay our debt for sin. Jesus paid for our freedom by shedding his blood on a cross. With such a costly price, he redeemed lost sinners from spiritual slavery. The Bible says that the one who believes in Jesus and receives his free gift of redemption will be set free, never to be a slave to sin again. Isn't God's love for us amazing? Ooh, oh, oh, there he is! Tell you what, Scratch, you give me Belfry, and I'll give you the finest piece of Limburger cheese you ever tasted. <laughs> Oi, no fair! <laughs> Let me go! You tried to save me, Luther. Yeah, well, me mum dropped me on me head when I was a pup. It's been nice knowing you, old chum. It's Theo! 
a nice fat trout to redeem two scrawny mice. Hmm. Sounds like a fair price, don't you think? Lucky for you lads, I came along in time to save you from being old Scratch's supper. Well, that was your only fish. <laughs> you two are worth more to me than a basket full of fish. Besides, I still have a nice slab of apple pie waiting for me at home. Uh, uh, about that apple pie, remember your lesson on forgiveness? Sing, oh, sing of my Redeemer. With his blood, he purchased me on the cross. He God must sure love people a lot to pay such a big price for them, huh, Luther? You said it, Belfry. You said it. We're all sold into the bondage of sin, but Jesus paid for our freedom from sin by dying on the cross. By simply believing in Jesus and confessing him as Lord and Savior, we are freed from sin. Do you want to be freed? Why don't you play a prayer with us now? Heavenly Father. Heavenly Father. Thank you for freeing us from sin. Thank you for freeing us from sin. Because you love us. Because you love us. You sent your son Jesus. You sent your son Jesus. To die on the cross and forgive us. To die on the cross and forgive us. You've purchased us from the bondage of sin. You purchased us up of the bondage of sins. And we ask that you help us. And we ask that you help us. Live with joy and obedience. Live with joy and obedience. To you. To you. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.